guys, uh, welcome to MD's Robotronics. Here we are today uh, just to understand uh, how a project can be executed using an 8051 microcontroller. So there are a lot of microcontrollers based on the 8051 architecture out there and uh, there are several different variants. So I'll just give you a, a quick uh, description of what uh, type of microcontroller would suit uh, and uh, the type of boards, development boards available and uh, what you could use. Okay, so going for, the, going for the development, there are a lot of microcontrollers and the development boards available and based on your requirement you can choose uh, either one of them. So, uh, for example, if uh, you want to learn uh, 8051 microcontroller wherein learn to interface uh, multiple uh, uh, multiple hardware like uh, for example a relay and a seven segment display or a, a 16 cross 2 or 16 cross 1 LCD display or a keypad or whatever it is based on that if it's your, if your purpose is just for learning so you can buy one of these boards so this this particular board has a microcontroller uh, on it in the middle of it and then uh, there are several different peripherals available so all that you need to do is uh, connect uh, this particular peripheral to the respective pins of the microcontroller and uh, use it so you can program your microcontroller to interface uh, several different things and uh, do it so this uh, the development is easy and straightforward you need not spend much time uh, trying to figure out the uh, circuitry for uh, interfacing multiple things. So just buy one of these boards and uh, you can straight away go ahead and start uh, programming your microcontroller. So this is for people who don't want to get into the hardware uh, part of uh, your uh, projects and straight away want to start with the development and uh, basically learning uh, 8051 programming. And for people who don't, who who don't who don't need uh, all these peripherals, and they, and for example, if you're going for a specific project, which wherein you have a specific set of hardware uh, connected to your microcontroller, probably for a robotics project, you have your microcontroller and a set of sensors and uh, a motor driving circuitry. In that case, you just need a microcontroller which to which you can program and then use it in your uh, hardware that you would have designed for your project. So in those cases you can use uh, something like these, these are called uh, demo boards uh, wherein uh, you have a microcontroller and uh, the very minimal uh, hardware uh, needed to operate and program this microcontroller. So all just you have is a microcontroller and the port uh, pins and uh, later you have a power circuitry, uh, it's a voltage regulator and the power uh, circuitry and also there you have a uh, uh, RS-232 interface. So this can be again an option. You, it can be there uh, on your board uh, if you want to interface uh, RS-232. Uh, you, if you want to interface your microcontroller to RS-232 RS port on your PC. So that's another type of board and uh, if you want a minimal board and you, if you don't want to spend a money on buying a demo board from outside you can build something like this. So this is just a microcontroller with a very minimal set of hardware and uh, it, you can see it's, uh, it's it's done on a prototype board where you, know, you can see the wires running so this is done uh, by me and uh, just for this was the first uh, board that I did uh, by myself uh, for learning 8051 programming. So all that you need to have is a voltage, simple voltage regulator with few uh, one or two capacitors which acts as a filter circuitry. And you need a reset uh, circuitry, which is a reset button with a set of capacitor and a resistor, and on-off switch. And there you have your uh, crystal oscillator with the uh, capacitors, and a simple LED, uh, which which will help you. Uh, I mean, it's uh, this LED is connected to one of these pins, and uh, you can quickly write a program to check if your uh, circuit is uh, working properly. And uh, I have an ISP interface. Uh, uh, which I will be using uh, to program, which I have used to program this particular uh, microcontroller. So you can either make one on your own or you can go for a demo board, something like this for a minimal requirement or if you have some money and if you want to spend 
time learning uh, interf- learn to, learning to interface uh, multiple things then you can go for uh, some boards like these these are called development boards okay and that's about the microcontroller and the development board uh, coming to the next uh, step what we would need is a uh, uh, programming device so these microcontrollers have uh, rom which needs to be programmed uh, with the code which needs to be burnt or f- flashed or, or whatever you call that process of uh, um, writing the machine code into these devices so you need a specific a special devices to burn the code into these uh, microcontrollers okay so for example for this board i've used an atmel 89s52 uh, series of microcontroller and they have an isp interface which says that you can program them uh, using a simple ISP interface and uh, if you have a desktop you can build something like you can build something like this so it th- this is the parallel port uh, parallel port pin which goes on to the parallel port of your uh, desktop and uh, the other end has uh, six different pins that is your ground uh, firewall supply reset sck serial clock um, uh, master in slave out on master out slave in so uh, these six pins and uh, there is a buffer uh, chip a- included inside which will help you uh, increase the length of this cable so that may be an optional requirement or uh, you can simply go ahead and use a specific pins of this parallel port and connect them directly to your uh, microcontroller and uh, you can start programming with just the help of a software uh, running on your uh, pc which has this parallel port so that's one type of a programming cable this is a cheap and easy to build and you can build on your own you can uh, start using it so you hardly spend uh, like 50 rupees or a dollar for uh, such kind of a device and the second type of uh, programming uh, device would be nothing so you don't need to actually have a, a external programming uh, device to burn the flash into your microcontroller so there are several series of microcontrollers which comes with something called as a bootloader uh, which is already present inside so what a bootloader does is that it ha- it's a small piece of code which uh, is already present in the microcontroller in a specific boot uh, sector so what happens is that when you interface your board to your uh, to the serial port of your pc uh, your uh, you can transfer the code you can you can burn the flash code into this directly using by uh, simply using a tool on your pc so you just need a software wherein you need to select the file that you will be transferring to it and once you've done that you can uh, directly burn the flash using just the rs232 cable so for this particular board you don't need any external programming device so the chip on this board is of uh, nxp uh, p89v51rd2 i don't know if you can uh, make it out on the display yes uh, there it is uh, p89v51rd2 so this chip comes with a bootloader uh, in it and you can simply interface this to a serial port of your uh, uh, a pc and then run the software on your pc and you can burn the program so f- for more details on that part of where of using the bootloader uh, you can visit my website and you can find the tutorials under the tutorial section of my website so that's about the bootloader uh, type of programmer and also this board also has the philips px9 v51 rd2 uh, uh, mi- microcontroller with the serial interface so what i'll be doing is i'll be connecting uh, uh, okay this chip is already uh, connected with the rx and tx pin of this microcontroller so you can simply directly plug in and power the device and you can start uh, programming so that's one part of it and uh, there are other several uh, programming devices which is available in the market there are several of them so if you have plans of uh, using multiple eight, i mean using 81 8051 for multiple projects then uh, you can consider a uh, buying a programmer for uh, a programmer which supports all series of 8051 or you can simply buy uh, one of these uh, which has a bootloader on it and start using it or uh, for a cheaper price if you have a parallel port on your on your pc you can use uh, some boards like this also to tell you there are 
uh, for the 8089s52 series of microcontroller has ISP uh, which uh, the, the, the interface is similar to the AVR microcontroller so what you can do is if you have uh, 8051 USB ASP programmer you can use the same programmer to burn uh, the program into these uh, devices as well okay so that's about uh, what you will be needing uh, to to start working on your 8051 project so you can you can just google around and see what uh, what other uh, devices are offered at uh, places around you so you can pick uh, one of those dem demo boards or development boards uh, for a minimal cost and uh, you can start your uh, programming so that's about it guys i just wanted to give you a give you some explanation about uh, for beginners specifically who really don't know what they actually need uh, to you know start their own project so just to revise just to revise and recollect the three basic things that you need is a microcontroller and uh, identify its specific uh, programming uh, device and once you have a microcontroller the second thing that you need second thing that you need is a programming device which would be as simple as a parallel port cable or uh, the serial interface uh, which which runs which executes a bootloader uh, program and which which is programmed using the serial interface either of these or as I told you the third uh, I mean the second the other type of programming device would be your uh, USB ESP for 89s52 there are several others which you can choose uh, specifically and the third thing that you need uh, is uh, either a laptop or a desktop and uh, to remind you uh, the laptop or the desktop should have uh, the interface that uh, your microcontroller has for example for, for example this board has a rs232 interface which is not there in my laptop so what i use is a usb to uh, serial converter and i use the converter to program this and just to remind you the usb to parallel port uh, parallel port con converter might not work for uh, this kind of a programming device, I've not really tested it out, but uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, there there have been a lot of issues reported that uh, parallel ports emulated on a USB to uh, parallel port converter doesn't really work uh, for programming these kind of devices. So I think this is old school. So what you can go for is uh, something like these uh, with a chip with a bootloader on it. So this is one type. If you don't want to use uh, these kind of boards, and if you want to simply lay them around on a uh, breadboard, you can uh, probably use a breadboard and uh, plug in your microcontroller and the very basic uh, circuitry, you know, something like this. Though the chip is uh, the microcontroller you see is a different one, but uh, use a microcontroller like these and uh, connect the components uh, on your breadboard, and you can start using that as well. So depending upon your requirements, you can choose uh, the best boards, and uh, you'll be the just uh, you'll be the best judge as to what you'll be needing it once you know uh, what kind of an approach you'll be taking. So I, there I am, just done with uh, what I wanted to share with you guys. So keep watching uh, my YouTube channel and also keep visiting my site. Uh, and if you need uh, more details on uh, programming these or example codes you can just visit the 8051 section and the tutorial section of my website wherein you have complete information about uh, the 8051 microcontrollers thank you guys thanks for watching